hey guys what is good welcome back to our channel thank you so much for being here i have a really really good video today i'm so excited to do this video it is a success story but it kind of piggybacks off of what we've been talking about in our last few videos when i tell people who are wanting to manifest specific people or anything for that matter and there's a lot of holding on and wanting things to be one particular way a certain way you want them to come back a certain way you want things to unfold in a very specific way a lot of times to dissolve that i am someone who will tell people to go general when it comes to manifesting sps and that's really just opening up your options in life as far as opening up your options what i mean by this is accepting that this is not the only outcome this is not the only way that it could happen there's a million and one ways that you can get in contact with your sp again but i really what this is is about going beyond just the person and really choosing yourself because when you choose yourself i don't care what anybody says when you choose yourself you are choosing i am you are choosing the source you are choosing yourself to put back on the pedestal more than the money more than a person more than anything outside of you and everything unfolds from there when you are solid within that so i have these two success stories that i'm really excited to share one of them is from a client that i had back in i want to say like february it's been a long time since we've talked but so much has unfolded for her since then and it's about a specific person when it comes to friends and I feel like we don't talk about like friends a lot. Specific people can be your family, your friends, things like that. And also the second uh, success story is from our Discord. You guys have probably seen it if you are in our Discord. I'll leave the link below if you want to join our Discord. Join us over there. But this person who's a powerful creator, they've manifested a relationship with a specific person that is actually not the person that they wanted originally but it is a perfect reflection for who they are and i'm going to share the stories because they both said something that was extremely important that i want to bring to your attention so for the first success story this client back in march i want to say we talked we talked and she had this whole thing where she was upset because her college year her I think this was her sophomore college year she said it was ending soon and she felt like she was not in a friendship that was more reflective of who she wants to be she felt unloved she felt unheard she felt like because her specific person or the friend that she really wanted to be friends with she ended up roommating with this girl this girl is very popular she has a lot of friends a lot of guys like her all these things and she felt like felt like as if she had to change herself or stop doing the things that made her happy to fit in in this friend group or to be friends with this person so you guys you see when we sometimes want to be you know friends with specific people and we're ending up we're wanting the validation of being their friend or their partner or whatever this is we start putting a person that's already within us because these people come out of us they're reflections of us they are showing us who we're being and so she was putting this person above her really wanting to be their friend really wanting to be included in the group and all these things that she stopped focusing on herself in doing the things that make her happy. And so when we talked about all of this, she was just saying that she just didn't feel that it was kind of beneficial to her, but she really wanted to be friends with the girl she has to live with her. And she, but she wanted it to be more that she was more the exciting friend, that she was the one that everybody was coming after, that she was the one that people would be interested in what she was doing. And I asked her, I said, well, it's all about who you're being because you're feeling like you need validation to do certain things and this friend is not giving you validation and the validation comes from, comes from you so you have to validate yourself first as the source of your reality and not put what's happening out here in the 3d above you and so i asked her i said well who do you want to be what do you like to do and just tell me about yourself what do you like what do you see for yourself and she was like well you know when am i in my room in my downtime I draw anime so she drew draws anime 
she is learning different languages. She's interested in learning different languages. She was just interested in all these things and other cultures, things like that. She wanted to learn Japanese. She wanted to, you know, make new friends in um, those cultures and things like that. She wants to be able to travel, things like that. And I said, well, that will make a very interesting person. I said, but if you think that what your friend is doing over here is more important, of course, it's going to show signs that you're rejecting yourself. So you're, you're going to live a life that's being shown to you that you're rejecting yourself by not being the person that you desire to be. So I told her, I said, you have to put yourself first, no matter what this is, you know, just start doing the things that you want to do and put those first and put yourself first and love yourself first, really be your own friend first. And so we kind of left the conversation at that. I did not hear from her for quite some time. And so it's been months since we talked. And so she reached out to me. We actually had a phone conversation and she was like, I cannot believe like how much my life has changed. And so the events here, I wrote down a few key things was she, she said that she started to get more back into her art. She started writing like comics and little things and just drawing anime and really watching other um, shows, TV shows, learning different languages. She ended up getting on streaming. She started doing a whole bunch of things. And whenever her friend, the one that she really wanted to be friends with so bad, would ask her to hang out, she would say, sometimes she would go, sometimes she wouldn't go. She said it was very important that she still definitely kept the friendship, but she only did things that she felt comfortable with doing. She would invite her friend to do the things that interest her, like, you know, help her with her cosplay outfit, help her to set up all this stuff. She left the door open. So she, it wasn't that she was trying to change or stop doing anything. She just started being who she wanted to be. And that was very important because sometimes like, we'll like say, well, we'll cut people off and all this stuff. But no, she just allowed herself to unfold in being the person that she desired. So she actually started ending up meeting people online that she could talk with and um, learn different languages and she met people at her school and all these things started unfolding for her she actually started getting really good with the comics and the um, drawing anime that she ended up doing a IG page for it and connecting her streaming to it she started getting a little bit more traction with that and so her friend would kind of say like well you know get kind of interested in well what are you doing and kind of looking at it but kind of not being really engaged with it but that didn't stop her from like still doing what she wanted to do and so you know she ended up and this was the most amazing thing that I think happened that she said that she ended up drawing Meg the Stallion um with her video her last video that I'm a star video she ended up drawing some pictures of for her and Meg the Stallion ended up sharing it on her IG post. And the girl ended up getting free concert tickets and all these things. And so when she reposted her and her friend saw that Meg reposted her, it now put in her mind that, oh my gosh, my friend is amazing at what she does. And so she ended up wanting to go to the concert with her. But the friend said she ended up taking another friend that was helping her learn Japanese and all this stuff. And so, but her and the girl, they're still friends. But now the friend is interested in what she's doing because she's not making the friend like the center of her attention. She's making herself the center of her own attention. And just to really hear that was just so amazing because it's a complete 180 from the person that I was talking to months ago back in March. Like it was very like apparent that she was being the source of her reality. And she, I asked her, I said, well, what do you think was the most important switch? She said, I stopped waiting to be validated for the things that I like to do. I stopped waiting to be accepted. I stopped wanting to be included. And I just got busy with my life. I started doing the things that made me happy. And then I just, it all unfolded from me. And I just really like that because once she chose her, of course, when you're choosing I am, you guys, just you, without trying to add anything else onto it. It's more so that the world turns back in, folds back in on you. I've said this time and time again in other videos that everything that you thought looked a certain way will all fold back in and it will start changing and shifting. And so now she's at the focal point of her own life now that she's got her attention on herself as source. Now the world can't help but to have attention on her celebrities and people like wanting to 
buy merch from her. She said something about merch and all this stuff that came from that um, Meg the Stallion drawing and people wanting that, her to draw them in anime in the same way. And she can, she's making money off of that. So she's doing so much amazing things from just choosing herself as the source and stop trying to be included or fit into other people's versions of who they want you to be or getting behind someone. You know, she was afraid to be herself for so long that she was shrinking herself and putting someone else above her. But that person that was in her, because that validate that person that she was wanted validation so bad that she was rejecting herself. So of course, the world and the friend and everybody has to make you feel rejected. And so I'm so glad that her life is unfolding the way that it is. And it's just amazing to see. I was really just shocked to hear that she's done a complete 180 in this instance. And so that was the first success story you guys so i'm just so excited because i'm always just so amazed at the fact that one day your life can be a certain way and then the next day your life can just seem to have unfolded out of nowhere and you have opportunities but it's all because you're being yourself it's all because you're being the source of your life and so that's amazing to her shout out to her like i can't wait to see where you keep going like she's so busy like she said she has no time for nobody okay so i love that and so this one, if you saw, you probably will have saw it already on our Discord, but I want to share it with you guys because this is amazing. This creator is such a powerful creator, powerful manifester, always has words of encouragement for other people. But I wanted to share his success story as well because it was so amazing at how quickly things can shift in your favor when it comes to manifesting a specific person. So he said that, um, he dropped in the chat, he said, I went general, like you said, for SP. And boom, a beautiful new relationship started for me this week. And this person has all the things I've wanted in a specific person. And so when I asked him to share a little bit more, he said the story was that he's in Japan right now. I came to visit a friend who I met on a language app. We talked since July and we had really good chemistry, but I was still holding on to my ex. But recently I asked my ex out on a date. And she said that she wasn't ready for that. So I said, okay. My dad, who knew about my friend from Japan, said I should go visit her and that he would help me pay for it. So here I am. We've been together for, they have been together probably now for about a week now. And I just think that that was so amazing how once he just decided that, okay, like, cool. Like my SP, the one that I really want, is not ready for that. Cool. But what it really was, and I'll share with this, share this with you, was the things that he put, he, he told us in the group, he said, I realized that there was no point in trying to force it to just be one way. And what that really means is I stopped forcing me to try to fit into this reality and that it had to be just one way. That love just had to be just this way with my specific person that I would have to wait for my specific person. Like he was in a state of waiting, which is in a lot of these cases are people in states of waiting for something to change, waiting or for them to be validated, waiting for them to be chosen, all of this. And so he said that I realized that it was this or something better and something better came. And he said, I surrendered and let things flow how they were meant to. And this whole thing about this or something better, it's not that anything is better than the other, but what it is, is when you decide to stop chasing, stop trying to force, stop trying to move the pieces and you choose, you, you're choosing you, whatever happens from that point is you're going to get a reflection of who is meant for you, for who you're being, when you're choosing you as the source to love you and not put anyone else above you. And he said, yes, I chose myself and knew I wasn't going to put my life on hold for anyone or anything. I'm going to give myself the love I desire to experience right now. And boom, it reflected. So it was right now. It was in that instance that right now we're like, look, I'm done. Like, I'm going to give myself the love. I'm going to give myself the permission to experience love in the way that I want to First and foremost, for me, by bending reality and moving from this state of waiting, waiting on someone to choose me and I choose me. And when I choose me, I choose the source. 
and everything reflects instantly. So it's not about adding anything on to I am. It's just choosing I am. When you choose I am, it implies that you already have everything. And that's what they both did. When you choose you, you're choosing the source. And it's not that I'm choosing to have an amazing relationship with just my specific person. It's having a relationship with just me as the source, really putting myself above everything. And then the world is your footstool. You guys remember these people are ideas within the mind of the all, just like you are. And you're choosing the version of yourself that you like to be, and it will be reflected out of you. So yeah, he made the movement. He made the internal movement. He stopped waiting. She stopped waiting. They both stopped waiting and stopped trying to fix things. And they just chose themselves as the all, as the only decider, as the operant power to see themselves the way that they desired to see them. And it instantly reflected. And so, yeah. So he said, I chose me. I chose I am. And with all that within that, that implies everything. And it implies infinite possibilities as to how things can work out. And so now this this person they have this amazing relationship with someone who's giving that reflection to them and that's everything that they've ever wanted from that old specific person and it doesn't mean that they don't love the specific person the other one any less but now with who they're choosing to be it's just that this version or this person is reflecting that version the version of them who they are now and it's just so amazing you guys so it's not sometimes we end up with our specific people and sometimes like we don't, but the fact that you're choosing yourself and you're not waiting on anyone else to give you permission, you're going to get the love that you desire, the love that you deserve. And some of us are just in waiting stages. This is how I got my current specific person. I stopped waiting on someone else and giving someone else the power to decide that they were ready now for me to be in a relationship. So you take the power back from that situation, from choosing yourself and then you move in the assumption that you are the person that you desire to be, that you are a love, that you are chosen. And it's going to show in a form either from that person or not. But when you go general, you include all opportunities. This is beyond just a person, you guys. Because remember like we talked about yesterday in our video, to think that you have to add someone or a specific person or anything outside of you and you have to have it be a certain way in form. Is claiming that you're not whole. I'll put it back up on the screen so you guys can read it. I posted it yesterday, but it's implying that you're not complete unless you have this specific person, unless you have it happen this way, or it has to be only one way when you're infinite, when you're infinite and allowing yourself to experience life and to be life, to be the love that you desire, the love that you seek. It's all within you right now. And when you release and your grip on per people, or on situations, life, is, it just opens up to you guys. I wish I could just implant this in your brain, like implant this in your brain. I could stick it in there and implant it forever because it's only you. It's always about you. It's never about anybody else, never about your manifestation. It's about you and your own energy and what you're experiencing. And you're only experiencing more of God. Every time you elevate, every time you decide to look through another lens, you're experiencing more of your power, more of your I amness. And you as the operant power, just becoming more aware that, hey, I'm source. This is what this is, you guys. So you cannot lose and you're so damn irresistible, not ir you're just so magnetic and you're irresistible when you choose yourself. Like, this is amazing. I'm just so excited for both of these people and I'm excited for you to take this information and do what you will with it. But a lot of you are still in waiting stages. You're waiting on someone else to choose you when you choose you and watch things happen when you choose you, you guys. You cannot lose. You cannot lose. You're the source. It's all coming out of you anyway, all right? So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. Like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you would like a session with me by phone or emails down in the description box below, don't forget to join our Discord. I'm going to run in here with SP. He should be pulling up soon. So yeah, you guys, I love you so much. And once again, imagination is always on your side. And I am too. Bye.